Hello, I'm Kelly Dobbs Micus, and I'm an editor for Morningstar Music Publishers. We're happy to be joined today by Father Jim Chaponis, a priest in the Diocese of Pittsburgh, and he's at St. John Capistran Resurrection Parish currently. He's also the director of music for the Diocese of Pittsburgh. Father Jim is one of the most well known composers of music for Roman Catholic parishes, although his music reaches beyond that as well. Many of us know and use his festival Alleluia, which he composed for the visit of Pope John Paul II to St. Louis in 1999. Welcome, Father Jim. We're glad you could join us today. Glad to be here. Thank you, Kelly. We wanted to ask you today about your most recently published piece with Morningstar, and it's called Serve in Faith and Charity. Maybe you could start by giving us a little bit of background on the composition. Sure. My friend and classmate, Father Mark Ekman, was named the bishop. So I was delighted at that. And so being Dawson, director of music, I was in charge of his the music for his ordination ceremony at our cathedral. And I wanted to compose a special piece for him based on his motto, serve in faith and charity is his Episcopal motto. And so that's where, where I began and didn't have any other text besides that. And so as I do with almost all my compositions, I need to have a text to work with first. So as I thought about serve in faith and charity, I recalled Bishop Mark's, uh, one of his favorite scriptures is from the Gospel of Matthew, the works of mercy. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Whatever you do for the least of my people, you do for me. I thought that would be perfect for verses and to you use the text, Serve in Faith and Charity, as a refrain. So I played with that. And sometimes, Kelly, writing a text is almost more difficult than writing the music. So I tried to work out the text and then wrote a piece that would be festive enough for this ordination, which would include choir and congregation, an organ, a brass quartet, timpani, there's handbells, but also making sure that they're all optional. The piece could also be used with just a canter, and the assembly, and the keyboard, as I try to do with many of my pieces to try to make them more useful. So we actually use this piece for <clears throat> the closing song of Bishop Mark's ordination with all the, the instruments, but there were some other places we could have used it too. And when I write my pieces, I try to make sure that they're not just a one and done kind of thing. I hope that other folks could use it at various times. And so I think this piece could be very useful, of course, not just for an ordination ceremony, but anytime the scriptures or the liturgy talks about sending, discipleship, commissioning, it could be great for the Feast of the Ascension. It could be great for any time there is a commissioning of folks in the parish, in the church. It could be great just really for sacrament of confirmation, baptism, any time that we concentrate on us being, being sent forth as disciples. Right. I think the text is really fine. It, the juxtaposition of the scripture-based verses with that refrain based on the, the motto of the new bishop, I think works really well. I wanted to also talk a little bit about another publication that's fairly recent. We published back during the pandemic, your version of Psalm 19, and that was commissioned by John Romeri for the dedication of Christ Cathedral in Orange, California. Can you talk a little bit about that piece? The version that we published during the pandemic was the English only version, and now there is available a version with English and Spanish all the way through both languages. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about that piece and the composition process that it started with. Sure. John or Mary over the years has commissioned me to write a number of pieces. He's a good friend of mine. And I always know that whenever I write something for John, that it would be performed the way that, that it's written, because he's very respectful of that. And in doing so, <clears throat> he asked me to write the piece almost for full orchestra. So it was, it, and it's not real often that a composer can hear their, a piece of full orchestra. So I was just delighted that knowing John, that he would be able to summon the forces for that. And Psalm 19 is the appointed psalm for dedication of a church, but it's also used many other times in the church's liturgy. 
Now, for this occasion, I was inspired by a descending fifth pattern. Okay. At the end of scripture readings in the Catholic Church, the, the lector proclaims the word of the Lord, and the folks respond, thanks be to God. And if it's sung in Latin, it's verbum domini, uh, descending fifth, and the folks respond, Deo gratias. So that got me thinking that maybe I could build from that. And so I have a little introduction, which plays around with that, and then leads into the refrain, or I should say refrains, because I've set all the possible refrains that Psalm 19 appear in the lectionary. And all of them begin with that descending fifth, to hearken back to the word of the Lord. And the Psalm 19 itself has three different sections. So I came up with three different musical treatments, depending on the verses, in order to try to respect the way the psalm is set up itself. And again, just like I try to do in many of my pieces, it can be used with almost the full orchestration as is, or simply just with a canter and keyboard and congregation. But all the verses are there for any time that uh, Psalm 19 is used in the church's liturgy. Yeah, it's a very practical setting, but again, with all that instrumentation and a lot of SATV writing for the choir, for the verses, it's really a wonderful setting. And the recording that we got from John Romeri and his choir out in California, it's quite lovely also. Um, both pieces are really very strong and you're always able to write music that's very appealing and yet still very practical for parishes. Um, well, thank you. So thanks very much for taking your time today, Father Jim, and I hope everybody enjoyed hearing a little bit about these two pieces. Thank you, Kelly.